Hi, I'm Claire Coffey and I'm a member of the Life Act Youth Advisory Board. I had a chance to ask a local mental health expert questions about how to manage some common struggles teens are experiencing with the coronavirus shutdown. Can you explain what the coronavirus is and why it is so dangerous? A coronavirus is a virus that causes an infection in your nose, sinuses, or upper throat. Most coronaviruses aren't dangerous, but in early 2020, after a December 2019 outbreak in China, the World Health Organization identified a new type of coronavirus. Officials named this new virus Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. This is the virus that causes COVID-19. The coronavirus is identified as a pandemic because it is a disease that has spread across a large region, in this case worldwide. Early symptoms of COVID-19 include fever, dry cough, and fatigue. The virus can lead to pneumonia, respiratory failure, septic shock, which is when organs of the body do not get sufficient oxygen, and sadly, sometimes it can cause death. Fortunately, most cases of coronavirus are relatively mild. Coronavirus becomes dangerous when the virus attacks the lungs. Symptoms can show up in as few as two days after exposure or as many as 14 days following exposure. The virus spreads from person to person. Most of the time when a sick person coughs or sneezes, droplets can be sprayed as far as six feet away. Some people who have the virus don't have symptoms, but they can still spread the virus. You can also get the virus from touching a surface or object the virus is on, then touching your mouth, nose, or possibly your eyes. That is why it's important to disinfect surfaces as often as possible. Steps that can be taken to prevent the spread of the virus include washing hands often with soap and water, continuing to practice social distancing, covering nose and mouth, including wearing a cloth face mask to protect others. There's no specific treatment for COVID-19. Mild cases can be addressed with rest, fluids, and fever control. Those with severe symptoms may need to be cared for in the hospital. Some teens might want to talk to a professional about their mental health, but they can't leave the house. How can they talk to someone? Telemedicine and virtual care have quickly become important platforms in caring for patients during the COVID pandemic. Fortunately, many restrictions on telehealth have been lifted, and Governor DeWine has announced that he has filed emergency rules for complete mental health telehealth coverage. So reaching out to existing providers is encouraged, as most likely there is a telehealth option available. And for new patients, such as teenagers who may be experiencing an increase in anxiety and depression during this time, parents and guardians should feel comfortable reaching out to primary care providers to seek a mental health referral. As most agencies and departments, such as the Division of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry at University Hospital's Cleveland Medical Center, continue to welcome new patients through the telehealth format.